Selection sort. Selection sort is an algorithm to sort an array of elements. So let's see what the steps of selection sort are using an example. So this is our array. Currently, it is in some random order. It is not sorted. What selection sort does is, now it will look at the entire array and it will select the smallest element in that array. So it will check from the 0th element all the way till the 6th element and it's going to select the smallest element. So in this case, the smallest element is 6. Now, after selecting the smallest element, it will swap this element with the element it started its search with. So, where did we start our search? We started our search at the 0th element. So, let's see what were the steps taken. find smallest element and then swap it with the element we started searching for the smallest element with. So let's perform the swap and see how the array looks. So as you can see, we have swapped the positions of 6 and 15. We have swapped it. 6 has come to the 0th position. 15 has come to the 6th position. Now, we say 6 has arrived at its correct position. Now, we start our search for the next smallest element. from all indexes after 6. So we start search from element 1 and we end it at element 6, number 6. So when we are searching to this part of the array, we have to search for the smallest element. In this case, we select the smallest element as 9. So we have found the smallest, first step is done. The second step is to swap this element with the element we started our search with. So we started our search with the first element. So we are going to swap 9 and 28. Let me draw an arrow for the swap. So after swapping our elements, let's see what our array looks like. So now, 6 and 9 or the positions of 0 and 1 have been filled correctly. 6 and 9 have come to their respective correct positions. Now we start our search from one index after. Now in this part of the array we are going to select which is the smallest element. We select 12 as our smallest element. And so we have 
completed the first step we found the smallest element now we have to swap this element with the element we started our search with so we swap 12 and 17 swapping those elements we get an array which looks like this So now 6, 9 and 12 have arrived in their correct positions. So where must we start our search from? We need to start our search from somewhere after 12. So we start our search after 12. So within this part of the array, we select the smallest element to be 15. Now, we swap this smallest element with the element with which we started our search. We started our search with element 17, so we will swap these two elements. Swapping the elements, we get an array which looks like this. Now 6, 9, 12 and 15 have come to the correct position. Where must we start our search? We need to start our search for the elements after 15. Now for the elements after 15 which is 18, 28 and 17 we have to select the smallest element. So we select 17. Now we swap the smallest element found with the element with which we started our search. We started our search with element 18. So we are going to swap these elements. Now, 6, 9, 12, 15 and 17 have all come to their correct positions. So, where must we start our search from? We need to start our search from after 17. Searching for the smallest elements after 17, we get 18 as our smallest element. Now, we need to swap 18 with the element with which we started our search. We started our search with element 28. So we need to swap. Now 6, 9, 12, 15, 17 and 18 have all come to their correct positions. Now there is only one element left. As you can see if we fill up all the positions of the array of elements in their correct positions then the last element will also automatically arrive at its correct position. Therefore by placing all elements but one in their correct positions in the array, that last element will also automatically be placed in its correct position. As you can see, 28, which is the greatest element, is at the end of the array, and that is the correct position. So this is how selection sort works, because at the end of it, we have arrived at a sorted array. So what does it do? It keeps searching for the smallest element in an array and placing it to the beginning of the search. Once it places it, it does not worry about that 
element anymore. Now, for the rest of the elements, we perform the search again. We search for the smallest element and we swap it with the element we started our search with. We go on doing this and finally, if we can correctly fill all but one indexes of the array, the last index will also automatically be filled correctly. So this is how the algorithm of selection sort will work. There are only two steps. Find the smallest, swap. Find the smallest, swap. We keep doing this again and again. We do this for n minus 1 indexes in our array and automatically we assume that the nth index will be automatically filled correctly. With this we come to the end of the explanation of the algorithm for selection sort.